Hi everyone, and welcome back. My name is Ethan Reito, and I'm an engineer here at Desktop Metal. In this video, we're gonna be taking an in-depth look at the Studio System Furnace. In our previous videos, we took a detailed look at Fabricate, the printer, and the D-Binder. So if you haven't already seen those videos, I encourage you to go back and watch them. They're not only gonna give you a really good understanding of how the system works, but let you truly appreciate just how amazing and easy to use this system is. We've been walking through the process of fabricating a gear on the Studio System. When we last left off, we had just placed our parts in the D-Binder. The parts have now been debound and they're ready for the final step of the process, sintering. Just like printing and debinding, this step starts in the software, so let's jump back into Fabricate. Fabricate is going to ensure that our furnace run is optimized for the parts that we want to sinter. I'm going to select the parts that we just finished debinding and then I'm going to add them to a sinter run. You can see that Fabricate will prompt us on exactly where to place the parts in the retort box. This is going to take the guesswork out of sintering and ensure that our parts achieve the best metallurgy possible. Now we simply select the furnace we want from the drop-down menu and then select send. Now we just need to head over to the furnace and load up the parts as indicated by Fabricate. But before we load up the parts, I want to give you a quick overview of this machine because it's really one of a kind. For starters, this furnace was developed by Desktop Metal specifically for an in-office process. Key benefits of this system are its ease of use, its high volume throughput, and the ability to achieve excellent parts with very little user involvement. This unit is completely office friendly, fits through any office door, and is the only sintering furnace on the market which doesn't require any extra ventilation. Compared to traditional tube furnaces, this design drastically reduces gas consumption, contributing to a lower cost per part. This graphite retort provides excellent thermal uniformity, and as you can see here, it's designed for scalable batch processing and has a sintering volume that is 10 times larger than a standard tube furnace. Let's go ahead and get this furnace loaded up. We'll start by opening the bell housing, which is simply operated by the press of a button. This unique design ensures that we can access the entirety of the furnace interior. Next, we'll load up our retort shelf by shelf according to our instructions from Fabricate. Creating a tight seal is as simple as hitting this button here. There's no need for any manual tightening or any additional tools. This furnace has a max operating temperature of 1400 degrees Celsius. This allows for the sintering of many metals to the highest densities achievable. Thanks to Fabricate, all of our sinter settings have been automatically calculated for this job. All I need to do is select the job and hit start. And that's all there is. Once the job is complete, Fabricate will let me know and I'll be ready to unload the retort. Now that the process is complete, you can see that you end up with the metal part that you would expect. The Desktop Metal Studio System allows teams to manufacture complex metal parts all from the comfort of their office. This is something that has never been possible before. For more information about the system, head over to the Desktop Metal Resource Center.